Moving on to what is going to be the big fight on this now, card. A lot of is, people out there don't understand why Vitor is catching so much hate for his stance on TRT. And it's because at one point he was dead set against it and said it's cheating and guys like Chael Son and this, that, and the other. And then, oh, yeah, don't just turn away because I'm going to use TRT now. Yeah. That's why Vitor catches so much shit. Chael Sonnen has never said that people who use TRT is cheating. Yeah. Uh, so I don't. That's that's just to clear it up for some of you folks. Why you who are wondering why he's why getting Vitor's a rash of so shit. Much shit. Um, I I mean, this which, is he's fighting Luke Rockhold. Luke yeah. Rockhold's coming over from Strike Force. Um, the Strike Force guys have been doing decent on their their sure. premieres. Um, yeah. I mean, it, you, that's the thing, man. Everybody who's coming over from Strike Force, most of them, the the majority of fighters are, earning are really. Looking impressive, right. and uh, but George and I before the mics got turned on. Usually we don't fucking pull any punches once the mics get turned on. We're saying that it depends how fucking juiced up Vitor Belfort is. I mean, and I hate to say it like that because I like Belfort, but the thing is, is that if he's jacked to the fucking gills, Rockhold's going to be snoring probably because he be. just is crazy. It'll remind me of the Vitor Belfort. You see the guy when he's eighteen years old running across the ring and knocking motherfuckers out. Right. If he's it's controlled in this fight. I, I, you know what? I, the one thing I do not know, where's this fight at? Um, bum. Patience, people, why George looks on his iPad for this. We'll keep talking because I'm um, trying to figure it out. Anyway, it's going to depend where the fight is at. And, and one of the reasons is it's going to be what that athletic commission allows with TRT because more. Uh oh. Is it, where is it at? Brazil. Vitor Belfort's <laughs> going to knock Luke Rockhold in four seconds out. <laughs> I mean, yep. Uh, because the fight's in Brazil, and we should have known that because of all the uh, people on the undercard. But uh, but obviously, there's not going to be good luck, their Luke. protocol. Yeah, good luck, Luke. Now, well, supposedly now there is a commission in place that does testing in Brazil. Okay. Well, but my question is, is how well do they test their hometown fighters? Uh, I know. Knows? I know. Most of you think you're crazy. You're an idiot. Blah blah. blah. No, seriously, think about it for a second. Yeah. You're putting on a card for your hometown crowd. You're running the piss test. Your hometown boy comes up dirty. Right. Let's just swap that sample out. Let's right. go to his B sample. Now, I'm going to tell I'm you guys. not saying it would happen, but I'm saying it could happen. I'm going to tell you this. And this is, I don't know if your stance is on this, George. I can't speak for George, but I know speaking for myself, I think Vitor Belfort is an incredible fighter. I think, it, it, you know, with or without the juice, he's a, good, he's a great fighter. Obviously, See, he's been, but the problem is, this is the thing, when he is on the juice, he is a sensational fighter. Right, like I mean, he's because it's mental. Yeah, and anyone I, who's ever used that shit knows the biggest advantage you get is mental. And and I hate to say this, but the young Vitor, Vitor Belfort was on a lot of. You could see it, obviously, you know. And that's in in when you look at Belfort's biggest accomplishments, most of them looks like when he's on the fucking sauce. And see, that's, that's I hate to say that where I'm kind of gonna have to disagree with you because I'd have to I'd want to go back and look at his fights, see where he was on shit and where he was off shit, and then then I would then. Try to tell you if he's a good fighter or not. Well, yeah. So because you know, yeah. to me, to yeah. me, if if yeah. you if you fight like a fucking uncaged animal, which he does when he's jacked on test. Right. I mean, ask who's who the fuck did he just knock out? He absolutely destroyed someone. Bisping. Oh, Bisping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. he looked amazing. But then versus Anderson. Yeah. I don't know if he was still on shit when he's fucking with Anderson, but he didn't look too good. I don't know. So I, I don't know. I'd have to see his record on the shit and off the shit, and then I would be able to better give him. Is he fun to watch? Yes. Is yeah. this fight not going to make it five rounds? Of course not. Do right. I think Luke Rockhold stands no chance? I, I'm going to tell you what. I, I will say, tell you this. Luke Rockhold has surprised me. I, there's so many times I doubted that guy. I doubted him when he's like, a tough no son of a bitch. Be, yeah, Jacare, but he beat Jacare. He beat Tim Kennedy. He has beat some good fighters. And that last like, fight with Tim Kennedy was a war. It went five rounds. He won the decision, but I mean, I just, I'm going to tell you what, if he gets in a war and he can, if he can withstand the first couple, the flurry flurry from Vitor Belfort with or without juice, if this gets into deep rounds, I'm going to go for Rockhold. Yeah. Rockhold, I think if it gets Rockhold past, has to push this, get this to the later rounds. Yeah, hopefully which is only three. No, it's five. Oh, no, it should be five event. because yeah, it's, it's a main event. event. Right. Yeah, five, and five. you got to hope Vitor punches his way out. So it's going to be almost like a rope a dope. Like, yeah. get Vitor to expend a ton of energy where he can't recuperate in that third, fourth, and fifth and take mm -hmm. him out. Right. But I think Vitor ends this probably in two. Yeah. I, I, if, if Vitor comes out and he looks like the fucking incredible Brazilian hawk, yeah. it's over in two. Yeah. If, if he, he comes out and he's a little soft and everything, uh, Luke's going to win this. Then Luke Rockhold. I got Rockhold. I do. And then, see, that's the unfortunate thing. Because this should be a level playing field, and we should be able to tell you exactly what he's going to look like and exactly how he should fight. Right. But it's not. And I mean, and anybody who will sit there and be like, oh, you guys are fucked up. We're not fucked up. I mean, if you look, if you go back and you really 
take your heart of it out of it if you're a Vitor Belfort fan, you know, because this I'm a Vitor Belfort fan, but I really look at the things where he's been the most impressive, and it's been very obvious he was yeah, on TRT. it looks TRT. like he's ready to fucking stand on a stage and yeah. bodybuild. So anyway, let us know your thoughts. Um, We got v TRT, Belford, no TRT, Rockhold. Yeah. Hey, that's the bottom line. I don't know how else to call it. Deuces. Snitches. Comical, brash, and yeah, sometimes politically incorrect, the Uncut Sports Show. Non-traditional sports coverage delivered the way you like it by your uncensored co-hosts, Kevin White and George Bedford.